Captain's log, supplemental. The Enterprise is... <laughs> no, I can't do the voice. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is the Star Trek book tag. This tag was created by James Holder. Uh, it consists of one, two, three, four, five, uh, six questions. Okay, number one. Uh, the original series. Pick a book that has influenced you or has been influential in your choice of career. Um, I don't know about choice of career, but um, influential, I don't have it with me, but Counter Clock World by Philip K. Dick, that was my first real science fiction novel, my first introduction to science fiction. Uh, without that novel, without having read it, um, I don't know. I don't know where I'd be. Hmm. <laughs> so, Counter Clock World by Philip K. Dick. Um, number two, The Next Generation. <laughs> Pick a book in the same genre as uh, the original series published between. 20 and 100 years later. Um, I've also gone with Michael Murcock, but I have gone with the Corum Saga by Michael Murcock. Um, it's, well, this is the first three books of the saga uh, The Knight of the Swords, The Queen of the Swords, The King of the Swords. Uh, I have Oak and Ram. But I'm not sure that I have any of the others in the Corum Saga. Uh, and I'm still reading the, um, yeah, the King of Swords. <clears throat> Deep Space Nine. Pick a book with a strong sense of setting. And for that, a I'm going with Boy Racers by Alan Bissett. This is the sequel to Boy Racers, Pac-Man. And uh, Boy Racers is set at Falkirk, a um, small-ish uh, city, I think, in Scotland. And also it's very sort of emblematic of Scotland itself. Voyager, pick a book about a journey or a voyage. Uh, once again, I don't have it with me, but Voyage of the Space Beagle by A.E. E. Van Vaux. Or A.E. E. Van Vaux, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. The Voyage of the Space Beagle. I don't know where it is. Um, paperback, roughly the same size as this one. But I don't know where it is. <clears throat> Enterprise, which I've never seen actually. Um, returning to the original series and the next generation, pick a book published between 20 and 100 years before your the original season pick. So I think what qualifies for that is. The Three Musketeers by Alexandre Dumas, originally published in 1844. <clears throat> and the last prompt, Discovery, which I watched season one, but I, uh, I really wasn't a fan of the. For me, the Klingons, the, the the look of the Klingons, it doesn't look like a Klingon. I mean, it's very good prosthetics, of course. I mean, all the Star Trek are, but uh, no, and also an R-rated Star Trek or rated fifteen here in the UK. 
it just doesn't sit well with me. That said, pick a book that has divided the fandom or community. And for that, um, I'm not sure if this counts, but Doctor Who Molten Heart by Una McCormack. Uh, I don't know if the 13th Doctor portrayed by Judy Whittaker, uh I don't know if it does or it does not divide the Doctor Who community. I don't think so. But maybe there's some uh, genuine critics out there. I'm not sure. <laughs> and I actually missed this one. Picard. Pick a book that wears its influences on its sleeve. I uh, don't have a choice for this one. Um, I've not read it, but I think Fangirl by... Hold on, I need to check this. I don't think it's Rainbow Rowell, or is it? Yeah, it's Rainbow Rowell. So there you go. <laughs> Actually, it was right. Um, I've not read it, but I would imagine that that um, would qualify. Okay, so that is the Star Trek book tag. I don't know who to tag. I'm not exactly sure who is a Star Trek fan other than the people that James Holder's already tagged. So with that. Do 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 do